Look at that sticker, how fitting. I heart rode microphones 100%. This should go right here smack dab on the corner of my screen because like I said before, I'm a huge road groupie. What's up YouTube, it's your boy. B Mac. So this past Tuesday, I was in New York City, Manhattan, Manhattan, as I believe they say, Manhattan. But anyway, I went to B&H, met this very nice gentleman named Bill. He was in the audio section. I basically went up to him like, Bill, looking at getting some audio equipment for better live streaming, better voiceover work, perhaps even some podcasting. Bill, nicest gentleman in the world, literally goes like this. That's the one you want. And he pointed to the microphone that's in this box, the microphone we're gonna unbox today. He basically said, that's the one, that's the USB mic that you're gonna need. He actually said a YouTube friend of his has a $1,500 microphone setup that he was using for his videos. He tried this microphone out and is now using this one. And it's a fraction of the price. So without any further ado, let's unbox this bad boy, show you what's inside the box. And the next time you go to B&H, if you go to B&H New York City, go to the audio department, look for an older gentleman named Bill, Tell him BMAC sent you. Tell him to check out this video because this microphone setup is specifically because of his help. Let's unbox her. So in this box is the real box that we're looking at. Wow, this box is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Good thing I did not try lugging it back on the train after visiting the store. Wow. Boom, there it is. This is the NT-USB versatile studio quality USB microphone by Rode. I'm a huge fan of Rode. I use a Rode video micro on top of my Sony a6500 setup. Not even battery powered, it just uses the camera power. Great mic with the video micro, so I'm sure this bad boy is gonna be just as good Probably even better. This is what the box looks like. You got the front there, you got the side. Information right there in the front. And then you got it on top. It says here, stand and pop shield included. That's unreal. For the price I paid for this microphone, to get a stand and a pop shield included, it's nuts. You'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. iPad compatible, onboard headphone monitoring, which is dope. Plug in your headphones into the mic and get direct monitoring right there. You don't have to go through your computer. It's right from the microphone itself. So we have one little sticky on the bottom we gotta take care of real quick. Pull that down and here we go. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. I'm ready for this. We're ready. Here we go. Wow, did you hear that? It's like a choir of angels just started singing. Look how sexy that is. Oh, it comes with a pop filter. It comes with a stand. I got this for 170 bucks. 170 bucks for what is supposed to be one of the most professional sounding, high quality sounding mics on the market right now. So let's just take this step by step. This is what it looks like inside the box. Pretty nice, nice packaging. Look at that, look at that label right there, Rode Microphones. You just feel like you're about to have a professional microphone when you see that logo. First thing here, this is the actual stand part of the microphone. You're gonna plug it into this, screw it on. We'll get this box out of the way. Once again, hitting the tripod with that, why do I feel a need to throw boxes and mess everything up? This is important actually. I'm gonna take this little filter out. There it is. This is the NT-USB Rode microphone. I think it's awesome how it comes with the pop shield with the Rode branding on the front. I like to rep Rode because their quality of their mics has always, always impressed me. But real quick before I do an extreme close up of this mic. This pop shield here, this is actually extremely important. On some of my last few cinematic vlogs that you could watch on this channel, some of those vlogs actually had a little bit of P's and T's and S's that were, well, popping. If you don't have some kind of filter in front of the microphone and you have, it, I mean, it depends on the way you talk. Apparently, my P's are a little bit crazy. A lot of my P's, I guess the air that comes out of my mouth when I do P's, mind your P's and Q's, P's. That that force of air from <laughs> that force of air from the p is actually it causes like wind to go into the mic and it'll get distortion and actually will sound pretty bad. So you do need some kind of filter, kind of like a pop filter like this mic has, in order to counteract that. I've just been using my Zoom H1, which is an audio recorder. And I've been talking into that for my voiceovers on my vlogs. Pretty good quality. I love my Zoom H1, but I was not using a pop shield on that Zoom H1, so I had to like talk kind of like this carefully into the mic so that you know my P's and T's and S's didn't cause that crazy <laughs> distortion sound. Doesn't really sound like psh. I, I can't really recreate it, but you know what I'm talking about. I love how this microphone comes with the pop shield and the stand together. To have the pop shield, the stand, and the high quality mic all in one in one package for 170 bucks. As of the making of this video, that's what it's going for right now. As long as it lives up to the high quality that I was told it's gonna have, that's a steal. But anyway, let's give you a little extreme close up of what the mic actually looks like. You have your controls on the side here. Right off the bat, I can tell this is amazing build quality. It feels thick, it feels solid. I wouldn't test this thing by dropping it, but I have a feeling if I drop this, it's gonna hold up. It feels like a very solid microphone. On the bottom here, if you just 
pop that off. This is where you're gonna actually plug in the USB cable too. And then this part right here, this is actually to control the stand. So we'll do that now. We'll actually screw it into the stand. Not like that. Just screw it on like that. And it pretty much goes like this. So you wanna have it so that you have the two long legs in the front and the short one in the back. And ideally, that's your microphone setup right there. Of course, you gotta plug into the USB cable on the bottom and actually plug that into your computer, or whatever source you need to plug it into. And then of course, you have this little tightener knob on the side so that this won't move at all. You could always adjust it if you want to, depending on the angle you wanna have it, but you just lock it down with that nice little high quality, good build quality adjustment knob. So that's the mic itself. We'll put that down for just a second. Also in the box, we have, if we take away this cardboard part of it, and the other side in the back, you actually get your USB cable. This is what actually is gonna transmit the audio signal to your computer or what have you. That's a lot of cable too. Look how long that cable is. I wonder what the actual dimensions are of the cable. I, I gotta find that out. That is a very, very long cable. So you don't have to worry about buying another cable to make sure it reaches to your computer, wherever you plug it into, because that is a lot of cable to work with. And then of course you also get the nice Rode travel audio case. We also have our, oh, look at that. Look at that sticker, how fitting. My heart road microphones, 100%. This should go right here, smack dab on the corner of my screen because like I said before, I'm a huge road groupie, huge road fanboy. So inside the travel case, we get a nice little iHeartRoad sticker. And then of course we get the manual. Everything about this so far has been high quality. Even the manual feels like it's high quality. It's not a flimsy manual. This is like actually a book. Like I get snuggle up before bed, read through this and kind of figure out how to take this audio quality of this mic to the max. So that's that. And then this is nice. This is super cool to have a travel case like this. This is actually, you know, not too many people might think about this, but to have a travel case where you could put your mic into, take it on the go. If you're doing a lot of travel vlogging and you want to do voiceover work, Having a nice high quality case to put your mic in comes in clutch. So you even get a nice road travel bag. Keep a close eye on the channel for the cinematic vlogs in the next coming weeks to hear the sound quality of this microphone. And of course, check out the live streams on the channel each and every Wednesday in which I will be using this NT-USB Rode microphone. I have a feeling that this microphone single-handedly is gonna take my audio to the next level. Not just with my videos, not just with my live streams, but with podcasting, whatever else I want to use it for. So keep a close eye on this channel and you will see this bad boy in action. If you're interested in your own Rode NT-USB microphone, I'll be sure to leave some product links and product information in the video description box below. So be sure to check that out. A full review of my thoughts of the Rode NT-USB microphone will be on this channel in the coming weeks. So be sure to check that out at the card annotation above when that video is available. And you can also check out that video review of this microphone when it's live in the video description box below. It's about to be my new baby. I'm pumped. I'll see you tomorrow. How cool would it be if I had this already set up and I could actually do that at the end, like give you a little, why didn't I, I should, I should have just done that.